Okay, so now the panel is in place. Sorry for the wind, it's quite windy right now. And now we have three things to do. First is to add the connectors. We have special connectors for solar panels, which are compatible with the connectors that my panel have. Then we have to add the wire and some insulation inside of a wire, electrical wire tubes, and also add the breaker. Now remember, my panel could output a maximum of 13 amps, and in series, a maximum of 30 amps. Now I have it, just one. When I'll have it uh, with two, I'll have it in series. So I'll prepare wires, especially made uh, with the thickness necessary to withstand that kind of current. Also, some connectors have a fuse inside, but it's a lot better to have a breaker. And if your current is 13 amps, you should have a breaker just a little bit above that, because if you have it below that, it will jump all the time. In this case, it's of 16 amps. I'll add it, I have an electric box there, so I'll connect the panel to the breaker, to the electric box, and from the electric box, below in my house, in my home, to the inverter. These connectors are special because they have this rubber gasket because these wires will be outside. So if the rain will enter, it could corrode the wire or even make a short circuit. So that's why we use these kind of connectors because when you close it, that the rubber gasket will uh, water seal it. I mean, you can submerge it in water, but it will seal it uh, against water from the rain. So we have the same connector there. For passing the wires, you could use this kind of tube, which is flexible, or just some normal PVC tubes. I have these ones. These are, I think, 1.5 or 2 centimeters width uh, diameter. 